First time home buyers should be jumping into this market right now, Mark. Well, they're not, <laughs> but that could change. There's pros and cons to this, right? We're seeing some listings coming up that are, we're so used to seeing shit on the market that's so overpriced. And then we get all excited when we see stuff being listed priced properly and it sells. So yes, there's been a couple of good opportunities in a few last few weeks, you know, um, of listings that have been coming up in the market that are priced well. Yeah. And they're going to, and they sell well and they sell fast. And they sell know? fast. Yeah. And so if people want to stay with us till the end, I am going to pull up between the five and 700 range. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, new home buyers can't even pay, do that range. Well, they can, right? Because as long as the income is there, I'm going to do the math for 600,000. Um, 5% down is $30,000. And a lot of people have that in RSPs and stuff too. Like there, there are ways to, to manage to do this. And it's, it's the biggest thing is the approval, um, for the mortgage, right. To qualify. But now that the interest rate is coming down and it's supposed to go down again in December, apparently. And for new buyers, they they can start in December doing a 30-year amortization. December 14th. Yes. And, and I think that they're... Here's what I think that's going to happen is I think there's some that they're looking right now. I think they're going to still wait and see a few more rate decreases. But here's the problem with that. And, and where, you know, that type of buyer, you know, starts looking into January, early Feb. There's not a lot of product on the market. They start seeing sentiment change a bit and they start seeing listings coming up and holding off on offers and it's selling for, you know, listed maybe five ninety nine and they get six fifty for it. And no, we're we're gonna miss out, we're gonna miss out, we're gonna miss out. I see it consistently. So, you know, I, there's gonna come a time when these buyers are gonna get off the couch and gonna go, okay, you know what, we need to get serious about this. You know, December is probably gonna be another 50 basis points, probably. Well, and, and November, December, well, especially December, uh, we've seen an uptick in January a couple of years, but December and the beginning of January is usually shitty. So you, so you can negotiate a bit then though, Mark, you know what I mean? Pending, but then we've seen the opposite with it where I think you can get better negotiations now than that time of year. If someone's listing something in January. I don't know. I've seen a lot of buyers. I was out there no, last I year. No, I mean, I mean like things that are listed now. If they're still around uh, mid mid November, wow. early December. Yeah. But the Should thing depend. is, maybe like I don't know. I the I, good I, the good ones are going though, Mark. I can show you. I'm gonna show you important. some listings, yeah. Because unfortunately, I've sent a couple to people and they didn't jump on it, and they're gone within a day or two. I find the agents today try to negotiate the deal even before they even showed the property. I've got multiple calls this year. Yes, yeah, so have I. What are your Celtics best? What's, what's well, this this one's 89 on? Wellington Street, 599th. But Wellington can be a busy road in certain spots. Some At the one end near Penetang, it's not as bad. So it depends where it is on Wellington. But it's three and one on the market, 23 days, 599. One bedroom. Uh, quick closing available. How many, bedrooms? How many bedrooms? Three plus one, four. Okay, three. Okay, oh, three plus one. Okay. Um, thirty-four sixty is the taxes, but they say well maintained, family home, no tenants. It's a busy street. It depends where on Wellington, yeah. And and you know what? Does it need Renos? Like it doesn't even have drywall up here. But look, it's cute. Like for a first time buyer starting out just to get in the market. It's it's not horrible, Mark. Not horrible. I mean, it's a detached. I mean, it's not bad. It's just the street. It's got that's... quartz countertops. It's got a built-in. I find the price fine. But let's get back to will that buyer, like, you know what I mean? There's You made a comment that a lot of Rob's, you know, first-time buyers are sitting there waiting. We're going to wait till we see more drops. That can happen, right? Oh, is this it... is a fully finished basement, too going to surge prices if these buyers don't come back what's going to happen are we going to see price drops are we going to are our sellers just going to come out in the new year and go wow god we've they got another 50 basis points we're going to get more market's going to heat up let's price it higher 
Well, that's why they shouldn't be sitting around waiting. Because I, th- I think people are going to start doing that. But we're not seeing, we didn't see it all this year. We're starting, we've seen a lot of product this year being mismanagedly priced. This is 629, three bed, two bath in Letitia Heights, 629, fully detached. It's not bad priced. It's not. It's livable. Yeah, it's not a bad. It's not a bad. It's an older home, older area. But to get in the market, like I tried to tell my other first time buyers, like you have to start somewhere. You can't okay, so start. What are you telling? You, you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But what are they telling you though? Why aren't they jumping then? Well, they think it's they they think that that the prices are going to go down lower. Well. And That's, they think that the interest rate's going to go down lower. The rates are. I think the prices are on some product. Three the plus one. Priced. Athabasca, 630. Three plus one bed, two bath. Pull it up. I owned a house on Athabasca like this. That's a big living room in there. Like it's a giant room. All new flooring and paint, obviously. Yeah, no, it shows okay. It's priced fine. Fully finished basement. They have wood on the walls, but you could always paint it white. Full bathroom downstairs with a shower. This is the back deck. Lawn needs mowing. But the yard's a good size. It's not bad, but, you know... Six thirty. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine, but but twenty two days in the market, so it's not jumping off the shelves. No. So Hamner just got to de, de three three plus two beds six forty eight. Better price. Where were they at before? Six ninety eight. Too hot. Better price. Are they holding off on anything? No, that's what I just checked. No. That's better priced. Busy, busy street. But well, one end of Hamner's not busy. It depends. But Mark, this is the other thing. At this price range for a first-time buyer, nothing inside. No inside pictures. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> no. Stop the search there, right there. Well, there's some inventory out there, and I think there's a lot of choices. And, and and I just don't think it's going to rub up right now. This is two Fletcher North End off Grove by the high school. How much? Shows were off somewhere. Six forty nine, yeah. fully detached, with the garage. The bathroom's okay. Yeah. I bet there's tenants in it. Yeah. The it looks a little rough to me. It's rough. Yeah. Anyway, I think we see enough listings. We get the idea. I think there's some. Oh, some... Wait, I, I got to see this. Ambler Bay, Mark. Yeah, it's 700K. 684. Three plus one bed, two bath. Well, That's a basement. Why wouldn't you finish the ceiling? Too high. I've seen that listing before. It's been listed before. Mm-hmm. But could this be be negotiated? Diane, I don't know. That's the I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that that question because I just think so many areas are inflated. So I don't know. Or I don't major- think I, I don't think six eighty four nine is horrible. And and I'll tell you why. Because I'm looking at townhouses that are selling for six forty and six fifty. And that and that's a fully detached house. Yeah. Well we have different views on that. I, I think the market's gotta come down. I'm not saying everything's gotta come down. I'm not saying that, but I think the realistic seller has to kick in sometime and go, okay, we've tried this price for a while and we've seen some inventory. We got a lot of inventory out there. We've seen what, 15, 15 57 new listings today? Probably thirty five. Well, 
the listing, the listings are, are, yeah. Oh. So the listings are a freaking problem because just Love so people that. know, they're still coming up like mad. Like, me, well, show the viewers how many today. See if we can, and you can segregate Barry because that's my. Oh, I did segregate Barry, and we have ninety six. Today. Yep. Ninety six new listings in Barry today. Yes, because this is twenty five. There's another twenty five. There's another twenty five. I'll bury rentals in there too. Rentals are in there looking at the price point. There is there because there's no way to get them out. Right. Right. Because okay. new listings are new listings. So that's okay. 75 now. We're still in Barry. That's a, a lot of rentals. I can't believe 95. It's a lot of product. And probably 25 of them are rentals. Well, so, yeah, unfortunately. I think the bigger story is the inventory is high. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the bigger story. Then, then, then first time buyers getting in. Yeah, first time is a good time. It's a pro and con thing, I think. For some, I think it's good. And when the property. Oh, no, priced, sorry, Mark. That was for the last three days. Three days. Okay. Okay. But still, that's huge. Right. And we're only seeing, you know, 15. How many sold today? Go about how many sold in three days? Okay, so you know how many sold in three days? 13. I just did it. So that's not much. So we got 75 new listings, we're going to say. 96. 96. With the, no, but the solds include the friggin' leases too. Right. <laughs> so that's the thing. We got four more weeks of this market and it's going to really start getting quiet. It's starting to quiet down now. We got a time change coming in next week or this weekend. I think things are, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, that's why to me, for a first time buyer, if you have 30, 40,000 for a down payment, it's not a bad time to start. I'm telling you. Because. Start looking, sure. And buying in the right one. Sure. I don't think it's a bad idea, but. Now, do I think it's a good idea to try to sell your house and move up right now? No. No, because everything's. But there's so much, and I have people like that. It, 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 and most of those people that are doing that are in townhouses or small detached that will sell quickly. Then where do we go? Everything we're looking at is you're telling us it's overpriced and it's overpriced. We talked about one before on San, Sandalwood. Great street, great area. 2,200 square foot floor plan with the basement's 27, a million 250,000, and it's dated. I don't think so. We're not seeing that for 3,000 square feet. You can, go up, you can go up to Prince William Way and find a dozen of them up there. We've seen them with in-ground pools. This one has an in-ground pool too. Okay, backyard, but the pricing, like what? This is what I don't understand. So there's a, a buyer ready to go. Can't find the right property at the right price. And he can't. They can't. No, I, know. I know. That's what I'm saying. For, for someone that doesn't have to sell and they don't have to move tomorrow um, and you can negotiate a little bit with time, you know, um, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. Cause there's some smaller ones out there to get in the market right now that are doable. But if you got to sell and then try to buy. It's risky. It's risky. Then you get desperate. Really, it's really risky. Oh, risky. Right. And no one wants to take an additional offer. And I don't blame them. I, I mean, they mean nothing. I, we don't take them either. I kept telling agents, no, we're not taking this. We're not taking one. Sorry. Well, just... no, because the problem is we're in a market that nothing's selling. So why the hell would I take an offer conditional on the sale of your home? Yeah. I mean, nothing's selling. Some is selling, but it's a small percentage is selling. Right. I'm looking really, and we know the stats for October are going to be a bit stronger in transactions than, than last year. Right, we're going to see that. I still think we'll be very flat to last year, year end, but we're going to see that. See that. October, but, October, there was an increase. There's going to be an increase. There's going to be an increase. Yeah. We've been jacking it. So, yeah, you know, and we'll probably see one in November too, but it's going to be, but I think sellers shouldn't get overexcited about that. I don't know. <laughs> well, last year was the slowest year in 25 years. Hmm. The fact that we've been lower than last year the whole time, that's fucking horrible. Last year was the worst in 25 years. So, yeah. like, we're, you know, if we're worse than that, we're in a dismal situation. 
And you know what? We're still seeing transactions done and, and people that are moving today, you know, they have longer goals, right? They're not moving in and don't, you can't look at the prices fluctuating up and down. So what if it goes off a little bit? Who cares? They're not moving. These, you know, they're going to stay five, six years, depending, maybe even longer. We've seen well, this many and Yeah. You know what? That was one of the things that when I was Googling and reading articles today about these kind of things um, and about what people are concerned about buying a home, most, most things I read said the same thing that I tell my clients and you tell your clients, you know, if you're in it for the longer term, you're always okay. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Like I bought my house five years ago for 519 yep. and it's worth at least eight fifty, eight, eight fifty. I don't know. But in the height, it was worth 1.1 they were selling for. Yeah. But yeah. it's never going to sell for that again. Not anytime soon. Anytime soon. It's not. It's but not. did I still make $300,000 in five years, Mark? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Tax free. All right. So that's the thing too, is the goal has got to be realistic too. Right. Get in you're the market. Not, you're not going to make a shit ton of money in a year or a year and a half. You mm. hold it for four or five years. And if you see real estate, if you see the fluctuations, you see this and this, but it's always like on an upward curve, but you're going to see dips and then up and then, you know, we do. It's the way do. it works. And I would, if, I would, I would, if I was getting a mortgage today, I would go variable. I'd, I'd take a variable product. Oh, would I? Yeah. I am on variable right now, but I think with the way the rate decreases and what's going on right now in the world, you, you can't, I wouldn't lock in. No, I wouldn't be locking either. I, I think there's going to be, you know what I mean? Some data came out in the U.S. They came out with a two for third quarter, 2.8% increase, which is decent growth, but little shy of the expectation so economy slowing right there's there's signs of it, especially here in canada so you know it, and again every comment that that we see on the page is 99 of them are very negative comments very sentiment is shit in a way oh it is price is going to you know drop 30 percent, 40 percent. i don't think that's going to happen we're not seeing that kind of a market do i think some some prices and some overpriced stuff need to come down 20, 30%. Yeah, I agree there. Well, that's that's because they're overpriced, some of them. Overpriced, right? Yeah, I see that. But it, it's saying the whole general market's going to drop like that? No. No, we're not, right? It's any not. Other things, any other things for no. Is the market now versus later? No. It's, I it's, think for first-time buyers, they should be really seriously thinking about it because – you know, I've personally, even in my own personal life, have bought in downs and highs. And I'm looking even right now myself because it's a time it's a time to buy. Like, I don't want to wait until the sentiment changes because then I'm screwed. So you're it's too late. It's too, it's too late. late. And we can't we can't gauge right now. It's kind of murky, muddy. But, you know, the new year is right around the corner. That we change. know, you know, there's one thing I can guarantee you. It's going to change eventually. It's going to hundred percent. It's going to change. It's going to change. And not looking at the price. Oh, I could have got it for ten. Who cares? It's ten thousand dollars. You're dealing with an asset that's six, six fifty in that range for that type of buyer. Who cares if it's ten grand? Who cares if it's twenty grand? You're not moving. You know, take a variable product. You'll catch it in the way down the rates. Take advantage of some prepayment options. Start paying that asset down. It's tax free. It is about getting into the market and start building wealth. Yes, it is. Stop looking at the you know, oh, it's going to come down more. I don't think if someone's priced properly, we've gone through many solds in this year. And we've seen lots sold two and three days, maybe a week, maybe in 14 days. That's pretty good. But it's usually on, on well-priced properties. They're not, they're not giving them away the price for what the market's willing to pay right now. If the market is- Yeah, I want to check on that one that I sent to my one client who didn't jump on it because it was conditionally sold. And I want to see if it actually sold firm yet. Because, yeah. no, it's still sold conditional. So I, I don't know what it's sold for. But I mean, I, I saw it come up and I was like, man, oh man, they need to jump on this. Like, yeah. and they didn't. So, yeah. I mean, you do have to be diligent and watch because there's not a million of them like that. Keep watching. Keep watching the market. You want people to keep watching the market, what's going on. Keep communicating with your realtor. Hey, what do you think about this price? What do you think about that? I have a lot of dialogue going on with people. Yeah. All the time. I think it's, it's healthy. I think it's good. What's going on in the market. 
is the price good? Yeah, if it's price good, yeah, it's good. If it's price not good, I'll tell you. If it's price, you know, a little higher, but the area's in demand, well, then we have a shot. So, but there's just, you know, the house is only worth is what a buyer is willing to pay for it. And we're not seeing buyers paying some of these prices that sellers want today. We're not seeing it. No. So, but if I send you a listing and I say, this is a good one and it's going to be gone in two or three days, believe me. 100%. We see the market so much. Well, it already is. Yeah, it didn't even last three days. So, like, I mean, you know, you can tell if something is actually just priced to kind of blow it out. You can tell. Yeah, but I don't think, I I'm, I've come across too many blowout prices this year. Price good for the market? Price where they need to be? Yeah. Blowout? Well... I don't know. I haven't really seen too many. Well, I have, but I've been watching. You look at this one. Five ninety nine. What is the, it? Athabasca did not withhold offers. That's a two plus one, right? Two plus two. Yeah. It's cute. It's priced well. Shows well. I'm busy to see the price. I don't think that's, you know, I think it's probably a 629. We're interesting to see what they got. Well, I told my client, like, we need to get on that right away. It's not withholding offers. It's not nothing. And guess what? In two days, it was gone. So, sure. yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah. cute, was it not? And those yeah. ones, you can do a legal duplex, right? Because I did it. It yeah. has the split entry and downstairs had a full bathroom, full shower. All you needed was a kitchenette. It had two bedrooms already and it's rentable. Right. Yeah. If anybody wants any more information on the very real estate market or wants an evaluation or wants to talk real estate, reach out to Dan and myself and follow our channels for more information. Perfect. Yeah. See you. See ya.